Go on, I'll let you. <laughs> All right, we're just messing around, having a bit of fun. There you go. Martin, very good with the guitar, so having a bit of fun there. Okay, so um, this topic I picked. Actually, let's do the usual intro. I'm always assuming people have never seen any of our streams before. So what we do here is we don't have purely intellectual discussions to simply be right. That's not the intention anyway. We might have egos where we try to do that, but that's not the intention. The intention is to pick real topics and try to give real solutions. My personal intro is I'm a Muslim. I teach happiness truths based on Islam for non-Muslims. So you don't even have to be a Muslim to practice them. They can't, they are, I would call them universal truths as well. But anyway, that's my little intro. Um, yeah. So we, what are we getting clockwise? That would be Martin, Martin this time. Uh, so wait, what was, what was the phrasing of the question? Because I wrote down. Oh, the, uh, so first of all, we're just, intro, we're just introducing ourselves. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm Martin again, still me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm all about like uh, good progressive ideas and humanism and expressing yourself and number one being always try and be creative and be yourself, be an individual because uh, individuals are, are more interesting than any, everyone that looks exactly the same or acts exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, all good things. And I am dust and I come with a two-year guarantee not to rust. That's only European wide, though. So I'm uh, I'm a human being, and I think that's enough to be human, and it is a gift to think like that. I believe, and I come from a human being point of view, and constitute built on a constitution, uh, encased in a democracy, and delivered uh, with sincerity. Thank you. Cool. We're having all sorts of interesting comments about the guitar and all that already. Can people see the, the chat on the side? I'll, I'll, no. I'll click through them really fast since you can't. So it started with this. Isn't the guitar an instrument Satan and Islam? So we don't really play string instruments. We do vocals only because we think some things can, are the, the, the pure form, which is you know, good actions and things. And the music is in an indirect form. I was messing around. And I'm far from perfect. And I said, yes, did I say yes to some extent? Yeah. And then this is the chat so far. Satan, Flondo, Sounders. Okay, whatever. I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, so that's a quick intro to... <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so the question we're going to talk about is, um, are tattoos and piercings, do they give us meaning we miss? And as a Muslim, I always refer to the Quran, the guide for life. For Muslims and all of humanity if they choose it and I'm going to read my stuff to be nice and accurate and just in case Dust wants to know I did write this myself um, so let me just put this thing over there and get rid of extra tab from the last one okay so I'm gonna whiz through that this Tattoos and piercings give us meaning we miss. Let's see. Uh, oh, children of Adam, we have indeed sent down to you a raiment, that means fancy, nice clothes, to cover your shame and to be as elegant a dress. But the raiment of righteousness, that is best. That is one of the signs of Allah that they may remember. Quran 727. You can always follow the link if you want. What has that got to do with... Tattoos, I focus on tattoos and I don't really think about piercings too much. But anyway, it's the same sort of realm. Okay, in Islam, the human family, just as an introduction to explain some of the words, the human family are known as children of Adam, the prophet who began the moral development of the current phase of humanity 7,000 years ago. So it's not the first person to ever live, which a lot of people do believe. There are basic elements of personal development, like wearing decent clothes, which makes humans elegant rather than savages. 
But real elegance comes from good action. Good action shines a light uh, of the human potential uh, that we become, um, and therefore shows that we are of, and shows, makes it, I can't, I, I've written this badly, but anyway, um, and also shows that we're a reflection of the sublime beauty of God, as God is our creator, the beauty of the art is a reflection of the artist. Anyway, when we do not do good actions, we feel shame or worthlessness and wish to cover it, often with false methods such as fashionable clothes, tattoos or piercings. A good person is known by their actions, not tattooed words that they say they are good. So if you say wonderful things and your tattoo doesn't make you a good person, a good person does not need tattooed mottos of what they should do because they do it every day. False methods never cover your shame and you will be reminded of your shame and emptiness by your conscience constantly. This makes us feel worthless as we have no identity uh, or existence worth mentioning. That This is depressing. This leads to trauma, which tattoos are strongly linked to. In our age, many bad things have been sold as good, including tattoos, which cor uh, correctly used to be linked to savage behavior of the ancients and more recently criminals. Nature is beautiful as we are images of God. It is not good to deface that beauty without, uh, with our substandard art filled with toxins kept in our bodies permanently, whose effects we are only beginning to understand. No happy person would self-harm like that. That's, that's what I've got to say about that. Tattoos. Uh, okay. Very efficient on time. Wonderful. Cool. Martin, five minutes. Ah. Okay. Um, so, I don't know where you... But you get something sorry and just it's just shocking some of the things you're saying um so a lot of the reasons i had a little look uh reasons people get tattoos i've got my own reason i've got mine um but a lot of reasons people get tattoos is for self-expression um to communicate their identity who they are what they believe how they feel um it's a way for them to stand out from the crowd which i really love people that do that um uh, communicating a uniqueness, reflecting their personal style. Um, it can improve their self-esteem. Um, it can um, show they are proud of, of, of who they are, of what they are, or um, uh, you can get tattoos that represent you've survived a certain kind of trauma in your life, maybe um, abusive partner, or there's certain tattoos that represent that. So that's, that's a great sign of... Um, improving their self-esteem and, and showing that they have survived something and the strength that they have um, in them. Um, you can get a tattoo to, to commemorate, commemorate the birth of a child or to remember the death of a, of a family member or someone important to you. Um, symbolism, emotional healing. There's, there's so many great reasons people get tattoos. It's, it was, um, it's not to do with um a sense it's not to do with, i don't know why you use the like worthlessness or or to do with like good or bad or, or shame the tattoo doesn't have anything to do with whether you're a good or a bad person that's i don't know how you make that connection um a tattoo is just like i say it's an expression of you um and you it's your body you have a right as to what happens to your body you you are you i can't do anything to your to your body you have so if it's my decision if i choose that i want a particular piece of art that i really love that gives me meaning or something permanently on my arm then that's absolutely my choice if the the opposite to that would be <laughs> people not being able to have that form of expression or, or that story to tell i think it's uh people we're, we're a lot more interesting when we have lots of stories to tell and a tattoo is another way of of telling that story um any form of artistic expression is always a good thing, whether it's art, painting, music, whatever. It's it's always a, a good thing for the person getting the tattoo and the tattoo artist. It's their way of that they're expressing something important as well. Um, so that I mean, there's so many great reasons why people get tattoos, why people get piercings, but I think it would 
it sort of it would be very unfair in in some of the things you you said that I don't think it represents something we're necessarily missing, um, but I think it empowers certain things that maybe for some people they're missing. Maybe they they they're struggling to have a form of identity and and they see this piece of art and they're like, wow, you know, like that is really important to me, and they want that on their arm. That's you know that's a, a form of them expressing something that they feel they want to say. Um, mine is is I've got my own story behind mine and I am really proud of mine because it represented a stage that I passed in my musical journey and in something that I achieved for myself um can you demonstrate one of those and demonstrate one for the camera I can't I took a picture because oh I well done oh. My on, so well prepared um if you can see that well the, the, the the camera's going to turn it the other way around probably so that says FTHC uh, next to the drumsticks, if you can see that, okay. That's like a, an old cassette, you know, that c classic kind of old cassette with the, the reel. And it, it goes up and it goes around the drumsticks because I'm a drummer. So it goes around the drumsticks. Um, the FTHC is a particular singer-songwriter that I like, um, Frank Turner. So he's kind of, um, one is a cross with FTHC, but I changed the tattoo artist who um, wanted to do something of his own design changed it to drumsticks instead um and it's got the words i still believe on the the cassette tape um because the lyric is i still um believe in drums guitars and desperate poetry um which i do so um that that too, tattoo represented uh, a, a stage of going from um being far too shy to ever go on stage with a band to ever stand in front of people there's no way i would have done it um, to the point where I played at an open mic with Dust here, and I played a Rolling Stones song. So for me, the tattoo represents a journey um, uh, and a chapter. And as I have ideas for other tattoos that have meanings to me, there'll be other chapters that I reach. Um, so I'll conclude. <laughs> and then, um, and then maybe, and then it's nice to think that when you're gone, or or people have pictures of your tattoos, it's nice to think that the story of who you are is, is right here on you. And people can ask questions about that as tattoos and go, wow, what did that mean? What, what's the story behind that? And, and that's a really good way of, uh, of expressing yourself. Um, so there you go. I'll conclude there. If anything needs to be added, then I'll jump in. <laughs> uh, finished. Yeah, cool. All right. Nice one. Thank go you. Go around. So, uh, uh, I ain't got too much to say on this, apart from that. Um, uh, it's what I said at the beginning of the a talk with me and Cal uh, we, Cali and Martin, had just before this talk, which is Cali just needs to find division, and anything that can divide um, is in uh, our Abrahamic religion here. In his mind, is is divine. To divide is divine. And uh, that's how he was educated, of course, and programmed. And uh, luckily, we all have access to Google. So I do recommend Googling Muslims with tattoos. There are loads of Muslims with tattoos. And also, on top of that, um, I can't remember. I don't can't remember the actual name, but women, uh, Muslim women get henna tattoos. Is that right? Is that yeah, right? that's true. Oh, that's true. They last one or two days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're not yeah. invasive. They don't. There's no chemicals in the body. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Yeah. No, uh, it's not invasive, uh, but it nevertheless is drawing on the skin, and it's clearly as you tend to find in, find in the Abrahamic religions. People try to always constantly find little get around around the um, um, dictates that are passed down to the to the people, and one of those, and they're just a little. It's just clever little get arounds. Yeah, so Google Muslims with tattoos and uh, you'll get lots of pictures of Muslims with tattoos and good websites talking about that. And uh, yeah, it's a common thing through history and people do it. And yeah, it doesn't lead to war and genocide. Unlike, you know what I'm going to say there. It, what it does lead is to uh, personal identity and satisfaction. Finished. Done. Okay. Cool. So, Are we all done on that? 
I mean, there's loads of good points that you guys made that I can respond to really quickly. Take a few seconds each for each of the points. It'll probably take a minute or two. Should we do it? Cool. Yeah, you can. I, I can say one more thing, but I'll let you go first. Do you? Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, let me just quickly, what was it? Uh, okay, yeah. I'll just quickly write this. No, just point. Okay, cool. I'll go through it now. So, Martin says um, it's a method of being is individualism or showing how you're an individual. So, real individualism should be through character. Let's try that down. I didn't write that down. Next, he said survivors. It shows you're a survivor. People survive. And my answer is people survive better with better mental health, which comes from doing good things. Uh, this is known by psychologists uh, like Viktor Frankl. Sorry, Viktor Frankl. I'll write this properly after the thing. Uh, you say meaning creates um, happiness and mental health. Okay, and he his he often paraphrases. Uh, who's the guy who says something like, you can get through, if you have a why, you can get through any how? Nietzsche, yeah. Quoting, what? So, quoting Nietzsche, oh, why gets through any how? Okay, so basically, what if you want to be a survivor, doing a tattoo won't really help you. It's the content of your character. The short answer, not linked to good or bad. Okay, so it is linked to fashion, which is an outer appearance rather than inner work. You should work on your inner self, or and be distracted by the outer self, which is what um, is common in individualistic materialistic society. And secondly, it is strongly linked to trauma. So statistically, it is linked to bad. Uh, it represents a journey and improvement such as giving confidence, okay? Uh, confidence is uh, greater um, when you have a cause. Okay, when you're doing good things, you'll naturally be confident. Religion teaches confidence by making uh, religion makes us confident by showing we are brothers and sisters. And I find that in Jordan a lot more. People are way more confident than England. People are very shy in England. Over here, people sing, whatever, do what, all their stuff. They're very relaxed with each other, chatting away with each other all the time. Um, your story is through your tattoos when you die is another thing um, Martin says is, is better that my answer is better is better that people tell your stories by those who you help so if you help people those are much better stories rather than try, them trying to guess what your tattoos are saying uh, does it Khalid is just dividing people no I'm just pointing out harm and better ways of life better ways of life Henna tattoos are worn by Muslim women. That's true. It's not invasive. Uh, it doesn't have toxins and is temporary. So it's not an attempt uh, attempt at uh, finding identity. So people try to find, find a, have a, a sense of lack of identity when they have no meaning. They feel worthless. That's what I was talking about. The, the need. And you can see as uh, people are feeling more depressed, but people more more people with tattoos. Uh, um, and I hear this from people like um, Russell Brand. He said every time he had a divorce or a breakup, he would write something on his body. You'd get another tattoo. You know, it's definitely you know he had to regain his body. So that was his word. So I really do think we we knew this in the past that. Uh, tattoos are linked to trauma and I think we've tried to normalize it to ignore that reality um, yeah that's it there's loads of interesting comments maybe we just were, I, yeah I'm, I'm done with that thank you um, shall we shall we whiz through any comments of people want to respond to some of the things I said absolutely uh, let's see the questions and comments 
Let's okay. hear the world. I want to hear the world. Uh-huh. Yeah, we want to hear the world. Here we go. So hear the world. Some people may find profound meaning and purpose in their tattoos, while others may view them as purely aesthetic or decorative. Either way, tattoos are individual self-mutilation and are pure vanity. Who wants to go first? Oh, well, it's got to be Martin. Go for it. I don't think it's... I don't... um, Individual self-mutilation are pure vanity. No, I don't think it's about pure vanity or... Or anything like that. I mean, I, I've got a whole list of reasons that can say, well, it's, it's not about vanity. It's certainly not the reason I have mine or um, lots of people that have tattoos that I've hung out with and spoken to and been part of a perfectly friendly, healthy group who have great ideas. It's not about, it's not about vanity. It's not about trying to be better than or look particularly better than other people. It's, it's not why I would have mine. Um, there's, um, as I said, there's it's it's to do with lots of different sort of um, reasons, but to try and sort of say it's, it's not about. For some, they might do it for their vanity. I I don't know, but say every person in that in a in a tattoo community or whatever, it's it's not certainly not about vanity or showing up showing off or anything. Some people have tattoos and and they don't necessarily put it in the place where you can see it. They have it under their shirt and they show it when they choose when you know if people happen to see it whatever some people are very private about the way maybe where they have tattoos and some people are very open and expressive with like if they have it on their face or whatever or their neck where that you know people are going to see it um i don't think it's it's about it's about vanity i think to answer a lot of this you need to just go and talk to people that get tattoos and, and really you know um like i say just talk to people Mm-hmm. Because it's not it's not about vanity exclusively or in, or, or just that reason, and it's it's not because there's a self of worth sense of worthlessness or or any of those negative sort of traits you've tried to attach to to this. There you go. Hopefully okay. Not. <laughs> um, that was one minute. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, this just refers back to our the talk we had just a moment ago at the far right addicted to hate i mean our abrahamic representatives here um you rick you hope i pronounced that correct you you were just educated to find a reason to not like somebody any reason there's a whole list of reasons you were uh, programmed not to like people and you judge people like uh, uh, our host uh, belittle with innuendo and without any evidence apart from the ones that conjure up in your minds and that's that's your background find you were educated to find a reason not to go out into the world and respect learn and interact and grow uh, you learn just to find to build a wall around you and build that wall subconsciously around you so that you never interact with other human beings and find any judgment and justify your judgments and um, dehumanization from that, because that's exactly what is happening here. It is just a process of dehumanization. And what you dehumanize, you end up killing. I think that is me concluded. Okay, cool. I mean, it's just worth pointing out, Ulrich, I know Ulrich, he's not, um, he's not part of the Abrahamic faiths. He's none of those religions. So, um, uh, I'll, make that, I'll make that decision. You'll That's make it. decision. You'll decide yeah, what religion he's... What religion am I? You could choose for me as well. <laughs> I, I make that. Not, uh, I don't... Yeah, what, what, I'll speak to you. Wow. And uh, you can email me, Eurek, and we can have a chat. Is he from the UK? Is yes. it from Speaker's Corner? No, Birmingham. I shouldn't say too much. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, information he wants. Out. Anyway. Well, t- uh, uh, ask it if he wants. Tell him to give you, if he wants, to give you. I can give you Dust's email if you like. I, I'll no, 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 no. Not your you, email. You tell him, you give, uh, if he, get, ask him if he can give. I mean, he's the, listening to you, so. Yeah, I'm struggling getting a word out for some reason. 
uh, uh, Uric, give if you want to give Khaled uh, your email, and Khaled will then email me it, and then I'll respond like that. It's up to you. But, okay, um, I'll ask him if he wants to. But he's a Brahmin Hindu born in the UK. He says. All right. Uh, well, I don't want to wait. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So I, should I? I think my turn to respond to that comment. Um, plus some of the other comments. Dustin. Let's go, let's go to some of the comments. Now. Haven't you commented already on? The Haven't first I, I? I suppose I've kind of said it. Did you? But you made so many comments that I didn't respond to. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think I've responded to Martin's, but not Dust's one. And I'll respond to or or. Well, so let's start with Ulrich's one. Essentially, Ulrich is saying, that's not his real name, but uh, tattoos or vanities, essentially saying, and I say, yes, it is largely vanity. It is as a way of expressing things you claim about yourself. Action should speak louder than words. Um, imagine wearing a permanent, like a jacket with that on, like, wouldn't, you know, just because somehow it's acceptable wearing a jacket saying, you know, certain things about yourself. No, a, a tattoo does saying those things about yourself. But it would say, seem very narcissistic if we wore a jacket that permanently said those things about yourself. You should just do those things. Um, so Dust said, Khaled is just dividing people. No, I'm just pointing out harm and better ways of life. I thought I said that one before. Henna tattoos are born by Muslim women, Dust says. And so that's You've correct. Have I responded to that already? Yeah, okay, I've it's fine. Fine, sorry. Yep, fine. Okay. So that means I respond to everything. Thank you. Uh well, um do you sure we'll have a, I will happy to have our one minute more one minute conclusion. Yeah. And uh, it's your talk, Khaled. So oh I will. Oh he nice. said he will. Thank yeah, yeah, cool. So I'll pass I, on an email. Lovely. I'll, I'll pass on his email to you. Cool. Nice. Dust. Yeah. Uh Khaled, one minute. Go, 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 go. Cool. Okay. I'm trying to think of a good summary of everything. But yeah, the the Quran basically points out if you want to say something about yourself, do it through actions. That's the main thing. Um, whatever these tattoos might mean, there can be nothing more powerful, more well to remember by people who you know, leave, you leave behind you, then your action. People love that more than anything else. And that is what people are missing. People, I put it on the, the thumbnail, people are trying to say things about themselves through their tattoos. It's better to do it through action because when you do it in a hollow way, you never feel complete. You can only feel good through actions. And I'm not making claims here. This is what is known by psychologists. They say if you want to feel happy, you have to do it by finding meaning and acting on that meaning. It's, it's built into not just by this. Yeah, I'll, I'll end there. Yeah. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in conclusion, I think, uh, you know, I, Khaled, you're, you're demonstrating um, where the Abrahamic religions like to take away identity and individualism because you're attacking something that doesn't need in any way to be criticized. It doesn't, having a tattoo doesn't demonstrate you're a good person or a bad person. It doesn't demonstrate your lack of ability to contribute to other people. You can do that um, and still have a tattoo and you can still be, a, you know, a perfectly good person. Um I think that Abrahamic religions like to shut down um, the individual because they they need you to take they need to take that away from you. You need to fall in line with what the set belief and ideas are. You cannot think as an individual. Um, and and another way of doing it is just it's just another thing to take away from you. Um, and you say can't... say something positive about tattoos. Um, so in conclusion, I, if if um, Tattoos are great because they do help a person express um, who they are through it, through uh, an art that someone else has has, has designed for them. Um, you're you're supporting an artist um, in a studio somewhere, um, which is always, always a great thing to to do. Any way you can express yourself through art, through writing, through as I say, a guitar, which interestingly we seem to have an issue with at the beginning, which because it's another form of expression. Um, 
any way you can do that is a good thing. And and by having a tattoo, maybe you're saying to you, someone else recognizes the tattoo and it's like, wow, look, this brings us together. You like this band. I like this band. You like that team. I like that team. Well, I can see you've been through some, this particular kind of trauma and, and you, you could feel immediate sympathy for that person and think, wow. Um, but I don't know why you presume that just because, um, just because you want to tell stories with your tattoos, of course, tell stories with, with good deeds and good actions. But a tattoo is just a, a personal way of also expressing yourself whilst doing those good actions, maybe. Um, and I don't think there's anything really here to, to sort of criticize or go after in terms of um, tattoos. Um, they're fantastic. They're good. And any form of way you want to express yourself in a nonviolent way, which is exactly what this is, it's always a good thing. Um, there you go. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, well, um, Khaled, you know, if you want a minute to um, an extra minute, I think you should definitely take that. Uh, if not, then that's cool. I'll, I'll just have my minute. Um, yeah, I think this is just a great de demonstration of Abrahamic religions and finding any anything that's slightly different slightly odd from the dictatorship of a, what a human being looks like what a human being should be and then try to pervert this in de demonstration of humanity into some sort of profoundly sinful act Cal uh, martin doesn't define himself by his just his tattoos he goes out and does wonderful actions and deeds every day of his life and uh, his tattoos don't at the end of his uh, the conclusion to his life or that day or that week um what he does each day is a conclusion to uh, each day literally and um, he demonstrates to me and at speaker's corner and to the world uh, a very beautiful humanity which i completely <laughs> and utterly love thank you uh, would you like uh, an extra? You can have an extra minute if you want. Oh, cool. Um, Me? Yeah. Yeah. If okay. you want it, yeah. Plus, um, yeah. Just, thanks. If you, people run out of things to say, I'd love to. Yeah. I feel, you know, it's a shame people are seeing this as an attack on being able to express themselves or doing whatever they want. I feel like what's happened in our materialistic society, we've lost the ability to contemplate and think deeply about what the actions are or think of uh, even uh, consider new ideas so um, i can imagine in the past when people something i've kind of promoted washing people wash, washing hands it might sound like a different topic there's a time when doctors didn't wash hands and one fifth of babies died and then imagine people going that this doctor realized washing hands saves lives he goes oh come on just don't be so restrictive and it's like that's not the point we shouldn't we shouldn't um, take that approach to learning new ideas and saying, oh, no, you're restricting our individualism. I think we're too obsessed with individualism. We should be obsessed with learning and growing all the time, just considering these different ideas. I've given, there's so many statistics behind what I've been talking about. Like, for example, you know, I mean, as, a, as uh, Dust likes to say, Google it. Do Google it. You'll realize. Um, Google so. it. Google it. Everybody Google it. So anyway, but anyway, I do want to finish with, you know what? There's definitely no hate. There's, there are, you can be a wonderful person with tattoos. These are the subtle oh. things that I think all these little things will improve your life. If you focus on inner stuff rather than outer stuff, you'll be so much stronger, so much more confident and all these other things. So thank you. Well, thank you ever so much. Thank you for the round of applause as well. It's yeah. a silent one though, but it's it always be. silent. Why is it to be um, <laughs> okay? So I put in the 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 links. Um, oh, are, are there any other? Okay, yeah. Um, thank you for it. Um, so next live stream, I put a link in the chat. Oh, is there any cup? You know what? Did I? I think there was a really good one. No. Oh yeah, there was a really good one. This is a really. I think it's a really good one personally trust me when you reach the age of 60 plus you will hate the tattoos because they don't do good on they don't do good on old wrinkly skin that's an interesting point who wants to start? Yeah, 
I think that I I, I think it just uh, I don't think we need to comment. Uh, you know, it's just I've got a big comment on that. Oh God. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> So I, okay, I mean, big comments. Really, it's really simple logic, right? I, I, I and, and thank, thank you very much for Auric for pointing, reminding me of this thing that I didn't write down. Like, you might have a belief when you're a kid when you have the tattoo, okay, and then you'll change your mind, or when you're 20, and then when you're 60, you're like, really? And you don't want to keep wiping stuff off your body because it's not easy to take off a tattoo either, right? Um, so you're going to change your mind. And an open-minded person doesn't have tattoos on their bodies because they don't say, this is what I believe forever. Is it going to be like, I'm open-minded. Things could change. Never mind not looking very good. It might not look so good. You might Your fashion sense might change as well. So I totally agree with Ulrich's point. Thank you for reminding me of that. Ma uh, Martin, would you like um, to come? Even though we've done the... I've heard it before, and it is a bit of an, an old school kind of rundown argument. Sorry, but some of this is really like old fashioned kind of um, ideas of what people with tattoos are mm. or, or what it is. Um, yeah, when you're 60, it, I, I think it's awesome mm. that I can look back on my arm and I go, um, so um, the, the guitar that I've got on my upper arm here, which is on, has flames around it. That's remind myself to never lose sight of, of me as a musician. Never let the world completely run me down. Always stay with my music. Um, and I hope and I'd look at that when I'm 60. And I hope I still look at it and go, yeah, you're still playing guitar. You're still making music. You're still doing something good. That's good. You didn't let the world get to you. Um, so when you're 60, you, you know, you can have time. You still look at them and go, you can look at them with a sense of pride, something you had there. And even if you, if it represented um, maybe something that you believed at 20, that you your your mind changed maybe for the better when you were 16. When you're 16, you look back and you think, I'm glad I don't think like that anymore. I'm, I'm not going to hide that I was once thinking that, but I've learned and progressed and become a better person. But that's part of my history. That's part of your story. Again, it's like a story. Um I think with, with tattoos. So, um, yeah, when you succeed, this idea that you're going to regret it with wrinkly skin, I don't think that at all. I think if when I've seen people at 60 and, and, and I see the art on their arm or something, I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I really love that. What's the story behind that? Well, um, I really love what they've done there. What, what you know, is interesting. It starts a conversation and, and I learn a little bit about someone completely, a complete stranger. And people have done that with my tattoo. They've commented and said it looks really good. Um, so the idea that you're going to be 16 necessarily regret it, I don't think that's true. I think obviously because tattoos are far more mainstream now, a 60 year old now is probably going to have more tattoos and probably going to go, yeah, I, I, I remember that. That was really cool. This was this moment, you know, I think that's, it's a beautiful way of telling a story about a person as well as the actions, as you said, in, in, the charity events that they've done, the money they raised, this, that, whatever process they joined. Um, it's just an extension of, of that. The, the, the artwork is an extension, same way when you do a painting or a song, it's an extension of yourself um, and a way to tell a story. Oh, there you go. That's all. <laughs> no, thank you for sharing those uh, interesting ideas. Yeah, We're losing you there a bit. Maybe. Oh, really? Uh, I heard who? who lo yeah, who's just... losing who? Uh, no, because I, I could hear back. Martin. We're all back. Yeah. We're all back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I could hear Martin all the way through, though. But anyway, hopefully it was all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any Anything else? Um, otherwise, we will say goodbye. Any Any other questions? I mean, uh, Ulrich uh, made from, a comment from, on not, the bottom. But, yeah, yeah, sorry. From our viewers, that is. Oh, no okay. Questions. Cool, cool. Yeah, from yeah. the viewers. So I just posted uh, his last comment, but anyway, go on. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, we won't have time for the the backup question that we had, just in case tattoo didn't go for an hour. Or oh, did we actually spend an hour on it? I thought. I... No, we spent <laughs> about forty five minutes, which was quite a surprise. But a, cool. a good surprise. A good surprise. Yeah. So we should. The question that we have number three 
should roll over to next week. So um, cool. the question being, should we um, be ashamed of what we buy? I think that was it. That'll cool. just roll over to next week. Cool. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah so it'll give some excitement for our viewers to hold on to until they see our pretty little faces again and listen to our musings upon reality and all said that happens with him. Nothing external, of course. No. And on that note, I think we're all going to say goodbye. And so let's all say goodbye. Martin, have a little bye-bye prepared as well. Bye-bye. Uh, my name is Dust. Thank you for listening. And I am officially settled. Do you want me to do my one? <laughs> oh, go on. Let's see your one. Um, I don't know. Well, um, thank you for listening. Hope you guys um, all have some um, fresh ideas and, and how you see things. And, and always go and look on Google, read books, explore the opposite side of what you maybe normally think to understand better things. It's been awesome to, to kind of do this format. It's a lot better that I talk with you, Khaled, because we are on different sides of things. So otherwise I'm just sitting in an echo chamber. Um, and sometimes life can just be broken down to a simple statement of just be excellent to each other and party on. <laughs> awesome i believe that I, I like i kind of like martin's one better than your one dust oh, oh be excellent oh, to each other party on i'm not sure it's, it's i mean i'll try to beat it my one is peace be upon you love for all hatred for none thank you i love both of you uh even though you don't believe it <laughs> and all of you mm. <laughs> um yeah, no, I really, I think uh, Martin's comment about not being an echo chamber, that's a really brave thing. Not many people are willing to go through the grueling experience of saying what they think permanently on video and do it in a way where somebody's going to tell them things that are dear to their hearts. Like Martin's got, I knew Martin had tattoos and I totally insulted tattoos, right? But he listened to it, you know, and he rebutted it in his own way and all that kind of stuff. And he still doesn't hate me, which is amazing. Thank you, Martin. I appreciate you giving up your Saturday morning for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you. And to our listeners adding questions. Round of applause to you too. Round Noisy clap. Noisy. Oh, round of applause. That's what we used to do in school. Round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what round is. Bad education yeah, yeah. like that. Oh, so, you're doing a rectangle. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Bye. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everybody in the chat as well. Okay. So don't go to an extreme. Wait until next week. I put a link yeah. pre preemptively. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, I don't. don't you guys don't go though, um, because we no, we okay. do our 